If you're thinking about moving to southwestern Ontario or London, Ontario, and you want to learn as much as you can about what makes this such a great city, well stick around. Today I'm going to share a few things about the City of London for you. So when people are looking to relocate to, to London, they want more information in order to make a move to our city. And hopefully by the end of this video, I'll convince you that London really is a great place to live. My name is Dania and I'm a realtor with New Vista Premier Realty right here in London, Ontario. I help people every day who are looking to relocate to the area or move in and around the city of London. Being a realtor gives me the honor of helping families and individuals create lasting memories in their homes while building real estate wealth at the same time. Being able to provide in-depth knowledge and experience about buying, selling, or relocating in and around our area helps provide a smooth transition for you to a new home. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you several things you must know about London before you move here. So before we get started, I want to share my own journey about relocating and living in London. In 2008, I relocated to southwestern Ontario from British Columbia's sunny Okanagan, and in 2013, my husband and I relocated here to the city. I fell in love with London because of the people and the experiences and opportunities it's provided to me as a person. I appreciate all the amenities that are available to me, and as a directionally challenged person, I love the ease of navigating through our city. So if you decide to move to London, I know you'll love all the things I'm about to share with you today. London is known as the Four City because of all the trees that we see growing in and around our area, just like here. And London was founded in 1826, but prior to that time had a rich Indigenous history with the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, and the Lenni Lapine nations. And in 1793, Lieutenant Governor John Graves Simcoe selected this area to be the capital of Ontario because of its central location and beautiful landscape. Unfortunately, the provincial capital was moved to Toronto, but that does not detract from the beauty that we have here in our city. According to the Macro Trends website, the current metro po uh, population for London sits at about 511,000. It's one of the fastest growing communities in Ontario, increasing at about 1.6% annually. We're a very diverse community with many ethnic cultures and communities settling here and making London their home. The average income in the area is approximately $89,000 with a typical earnings sitting between $55,000 and $60,000. London is known for its agricultural industry, manufacturing industry, digital media and healthcare services. We have four major hospitals, Victoria Hospital, University Hospital, St. Joseph's Hospital and Parkwood Hospital. Our post-secondary education is notably a draw to our city and together the universities have a combined attendance of around 70,000 students. It's home to Western University, King's College, Brescia University College and Fanshawe College, all providing various levels and subjects for students to study. London's largest concert venue is the Budweiser Gardens. It's home of the London Knights hockey team, part of the Ontario Hockey League. Budweiser Gardens holds just over 9,000 people and has hosted the Canadian Country Music Awards, the World Figure Skating Championships, Taylor Swift, Michael Bublé and so many more. Our city showcases the annual London Fringe Festival as well as boasts of a thriving local live theatre community. We have the Grand Theatre and Centennial Hall and various other venues, not to mention food and music festivals that are hosted right here in Victoria Park each year. London is still considered one of the more affordable cities to own a home and the average price tag sitting at about $616,000 as of August 2021, which is much more affordable than the homes in Toronto which sit at just over a million dollars. The average rent in London for a three bedroom home will cost you about $2,200 per month and a one bedroom apartment runs around $1,300. London's local school boards are the Thames Valley District School Board and the London Catholic School Board, both of which offer programs in English and French immersion. We have several private institutions such as the London School, the London Christian Academy, the London Christian High School, the Islamic School and the International Academy. Our local businesses in London are definitely a driving factor to our local economy. They represent so many of our local residents who serve and contribute right back to our community every day. I've highlighted one of these businesses in the link above. London's restaurants and food industries have a range of independently owned and curated establishments all the way right through to larger chain franchises, giving patrons a good selection of places to eat at various price points. 
And once again, you can learn more about one of my favorite places, the Old South Village Pub in the link above. The London public transportation system is an economical and efficient way to get around our city. The services from the busing system give access to most every point in the city and they routinely evaluate these routes and adjust them as needed. We're close to the 401 and London provides easy access to the Greater Toronto Area, the US-Canadian border. We're situated approximately 1.5 hours from Toronto's Pearson International Airport, 2 hours from Niagara Falls, about 166 kilometers from Detroit, Michigan, and we're nestled between the Great Lakes of Lake Erie and Lake Huron. All this gives residents central access to so many desirable locations. Our international airport provides direct flights to and from southern vacation destinations and other large centres. The Via Railway can be utilised to travel within Canada and has daily routes from London to Toronto's downtown Union Station. So if you're looking for a city that provides access to so many of the features that I've talked about, top-notch education and medical services, then London just might be the place for you. If this is something that you're looking for, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I can help you find the right home for you. All my contact information is listed in the description below, or just click the link in the banner of this channel to schedule a Zoom call with me today. But if you're not quite ready to buy or sell a home right now, but you have found value in this video, boot me a link, give me a comment, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when we release new videos. This channel is for those who wish to learn more about the real estate market in London or southwestern Ontario, and we provide lots of educational content about the area. I love helping people and I love real estate. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.